Welcome to a new episode about how to configure a FlexiLine system. Today I want to show you what needs to be done when changing the arrangement of FlexiSoft stations within a FlexiLine system and how to implement a switch as an external teach possibility. I'm starting by just changing the topology of the FlexiLine system. Let's say we need to change our production process and therefore don't need station number 2. At first we need to switch off the station itself and the neighboring station number 1 and 3. Now I adapt the wiring. Disconnect the cables from the terminals pre of station 2 and put them into the pre terminals of station 3. Then we switch on the stations again. Now they are showing the teach required status via the flashing line LED. So now you could simply connect one of the three stations to the FlexiSoft designer and confirm the new FlexiLine topology. However, there is also another teach possibility. For example, you often need to change the arrangement of stations and don't always want to use a laptop with the FSD. You have the possibility to implement a teach button. How? At first we need to jump back to the FlexiSoft designer and adapt the hardware and logic configuration. This doesn't affect the FlexiLine configuration and therefore neither the checksum. So we only need to change the configuration of the FlexiSoft station where we want to add the teach button. The first step is to connect the switch to the inputs of the station. In this case I'm using a dual channel key operated switch. So only authorized persons can perform the teach process. Of course you could also use other types of push buttons. Let's jump to the logic editor. At first we need the input element of the teach button. For the output element we have to use the FlexiLine teach bit. We can find this one under outputs in the cluster of the CPU3. In between we use a simple logic so the FlexiLine teach bit changes its status to high if it receives a rising edge from the teach button. This will trigger the teach function. The last step is simply to transfer the new configuration to the FlexiSoft station. Now we see the FlexiLine system again which is still in the teach required status. In between I have transferred the new configuration to the first station. From this station we can now perform the teach. So let's do it. Perfect. The new arrangement is checked and confirmed. And the FlexiLine system is now back in operation. That's it for this video about changing the topology of a FlexiLine system and the implementation of an external teach button. In the next and final tutorial about FlexiLine I will show you the diagnostics view and there we will check if the functions we implemented are working correctly.